What do virgins, marching bands, and fireworks all have in common? Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're bucket list travellers coming to you from La Parisma, Granada, Nicaragua. It looks like we've just got here just in time for the start of the festivities. In this video, we'll be exploring the uniquely Nicaraguan festival of La Parisma in Granada, Nicaragua. We'll be uploading a new video each week, so to get more insight on what it's like living in Nicaragua, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a like and leave a comment. Purisima Conception de Maria, or La Purisima for short, is a Catholic festival dedicated to the Immaculate Conception of the Virgin Mary. It starts at the end of November and festivities are held daily until the last day of the 7th of December, also known as La Criteria. It is a spectacle, with many fireworks, bands and large processions through the streets each night. We've been living in Nicaragua since March 2020, and we've heard a lot about this vibrant Nicaraguan cultural event. We were excited to be able to experience it for ourselves and to be here for the anniversary of 300 years of La Parisma. Coming from Australia, it's mind-boggling to us that a festival has been happening every year for 300 years. There are a number of traditions involved with this festival. In family homes, altars of the Virgin Mary are set up and family and neighbours are invited over for prayers and songs. In return for singing, the family hosts will distribute fruits, sweets, caramels, traditional drinks, sugarcane and many other gifts. In Granada, the major streets each host the La Parisima celebrations on a different night. The streets are decorated with lights, banners, altars and other decorations, and a parade with a float of the Virgin Mary passes through the street, accompanied by a band and a lot of fireworks, also known as bombers. Each night, the procession ends at the Cathedral of Granada, and Mary returns to the cathedral for the night. Each street competes to have the best celebration and they each do their own fundraising for their respective parades. The streets involved in the La Parisima Festival in Granada are Calle El Arsenal, Santa Lucia, Altra Vesada, La Inmaculada, Sor Halteva, La Concepcion, Palmira, Quizcoma and La Calzada. We weren't sure which streets were on which nights, but if you ask around the cathedral, someone will be able to point you in the right direction. Otherwise, if you follow the sound of the bombers and the marching band, you'll eventually stumble upon the crowd. So we actually don't know where La Parisma is tonight, but we're just gonna follow the sound of the bombers. We can already hear the bombers and the marching band, so I'm sure we'll be able to find it. A sound that's very familiar to anyone who's experienced life in Nicaragua is the sound of bombers. These fireworks are made with gunpowder and are used more for the sound than for the light they give off. When there's a celebration going on, you can sometimes hear them going off in the middle of the night and even really early in the morning. So it's just before 5 a.m. I just heard the first of the bombers uh, there was a marching band at, I think, 1.30 a.m. Uh, so, yeah, you've got to get used to the noises in the middle of the night in Nicaragua. It all adds to the atmosphere, but maybe wear earplugs. They're often used to signal the start of events, and they're particularly prevalent during La Parisima. You can generally tell that the festivities are getting ready to start when you start hearing the sound of bombers. For La Parisma this year, we've been hearing the bombers from about 4pm and they continue sporadically throughout the festival each night. Festivities generally start around 4 to 5pm and Mary is back at the cathedral by about 7pm. We've heard that this year things have started a little bit earlier than usual. There is some conjecture on how the tradition started. The Granada version is that the worship started in 7th of December 1721 when some women washing clothes on the banks of Lake Nicaragua came across a floating statue of Mary. 
The statue had drifted from El Castillo on the San Juan River and had been tossed into the river after an English attack. The Leon origin story states that the San Franciscan monks created this Nicaraguan tradition by inviting children to sing to the Virgin Mary for sweets. The practice became so popular that the monks suggested to people to celebrate in their own homes instead. The tradition then spread to Granada and other parts of Nicaragua. There are traditional Nicaraguan sweets which are handed out during La Purisima. We've made a whole video taste testing these sweets, which will be coming out shortly. So make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when that video comes out. We do feel blessed to be able to experience this amazing and unique event. We seem to be the only foreigners here and this traditional Nicaraguan event has been going for the last 300 years. There's just so many sounds and colours and it's just amazing. We're bucket list travellers in Granada, Nicaragua. See you next time.